Hey guys, uh, today I'm at an abandoned quarry that was shut down in the 60s, and I'm probably going to make this a multiple parter, but I'm going to film this and show you guys some cool stuff. There's a ton of equipment and trucks that were just left behind, and buildings that are still standing, like this building. And then there's a truck there, and a, another truck way back in there, a 40s Chevy. That's from like the 20s or 30s, I'm not sure. I'll go show them closer in a second. There's a gigantic tank up there but I'm gonna show this building off first there's not much left it's pretty uh, caving in I think this it says it's, it was an electrical generator shed or something but as you can see it is dis destroyed and when this place shut down in the 60s they just left everything they left their equipment they left the buildings they just walked away because they just went out of business, and the stuff is still here now. There's an oil barrel. There's another oil barrel. And there's random metal crap everywhere, but I don't really want to go in there because I don't know how sturdy it is, and I'd prefer to not have my legs sliced or some, something. There's another giant boiler. This place, though, got pretty... Uh, destroyed there's some metal junk not sure what that is exactly here's an old piece of equipment not exactly sure what this is either but it looks really old it's pretty cool what does that say on it Appliance, Dell Appliance Corporation, Rochester, New York. It's old. There's that building. And then there's something up here, too. I don't know what this is. What is that? Some steel cable. I'm not sure what that is, honestly. But I'm going to walk back down the trail and go over those trucks. The one is a like a 20s or 30s truck. I'm not sure what it is. I'll have to do some research. The other one is a 40s Chevy. I know that right away. But it's a... The, the 40s Chevy, I don't know exactly what year, but I do know it's a uh, generator truck or whatever. And all the motors are still there, both the generator and the actual truck motor, and the transmission. But here's this one. It's a pretty sweet truck, pretty cool looking, and it, these are big trucks. It's like huge. Here's the cab and the doors, it's been destroyed. People have been using these things as trash cans and vandalizing them, and people just suck. But this is a big truck. This held a trailer. But I don't know, the trailer's not here. It's transmission, and there's some parts over there. Look at how big that steering wheel is. This is the first time I've been here, though. And it's the first time I've found any abandoned vehicles outside New York. Look at the motor, that is massive. These things are really cool, though. I love old trucks. And generally, I'm not a big fan of any pre-1940s vehicles. It's just because... I mean, I can appreciate them, but they look too much like wagons for me back then. But the trucks were something else. Look at the size. This thing is huge. Definitely really cool. But I like the one up here more. It's, a, it's awesome, but that's also because I'm a Chevy person. There's that enormous tank of some sort up there. I'll have to get a better shot of it. Here's another truck, though. Yeah, here's a better shot of that. That thing is so big. It's bigger than the truck, which is big. But you can see it's still got a motor. There's the generator in the back. and It's missing both rear wheels. It's still got a logo on the door. General Asphalt Paving Co. of Philadelphia, I'm guessing. And 
in, as of 2015, this truck had the entire front end and the door that's missing. People took par body panels off. It sucks, but what are you going to do? The fan still turns. It's still got spark plugs in it. Wow, look at that. Old, old spark plugs, but... This truck is... This truck is just awesome. Ah, these stupid mosquitoes. They're so annoying. They just left everything, though, when the place shut down. All their equipment. It's just been sitting here since the 60s. I don't know exactly what year. I was just told that it was the 60s, so I don't know. There's still actual fabric on that seat, believe it or not. It's still got paint. I Honestly, this is in better shape than a lot of the vehicles I find in the woods. But it's a big, heavy-duty truck, so... It's probably built out of more sturdy and durable materials. Steering wheel turns slightly still. This thing is so cool. There's just metal here on the ground, and there's junk all over. If I find any other machinery or any buildings, I'll make a video of that as well. But for now, I'm signing off. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe for more. There will be a lot more. Um, my goal is 100 subscribers at the moment. So, yeah. Bye. Thanks for watching.